Object-oriented programming languages like Java, Python, and C++ are very popular. They model objects after real-world objects, and each object has data and methods. A class is like a blueprint for creating objects. Like if you had a class called car, it defines the data and actions that a car can do. One car class can create many car objects, and a car object has data that's defined by the class, such as like the make, model, year, color, VIN number, and so on for the, for the car. And it also has methods, which are functions that operate on the objects, such as making the car accelerate, turn right, honk the horn, turn on the windshield wipers, and so on. Object-oriented programming has capabilities like composite types, which combine several properties into one object type, methods, which are functions that the objects can do, subtypes are using inheritance to create subclasses from your class. For example, a sports car is a subclass or a derived class of the car class, where a car class is the base class or a superclass. Overriding, which replaces the functionality of a superclass method with your own code that's written in the subclass. So there are also object relational databases. An object database is a database management system which information is represented in the form of objects as used by object-oriented programming. Some popular databases such as Oracle, PostgreSQL, SQL Server, and Formix and DB2 provide support for objects, but unfortunately, MySQL does not. Oracle provides the most popular database for object relational databases. Object relational mapping, ORM, is a software layer between the relational database and the object-oriented programming language which converts object structures and queries to relational structures and queries. The object relational database extends SQL with object types. Some databases refer to subtypes as subtables and refer to supertypes as supertables. Uh, and there's a couple of SQL statements that will work on Oracle but not in MySQL. There's create type as object, which specifies a type name and associated properties, functions, and procedures. There's create type body as, which specifies the code or body of each function and procedure associated with the object type. There's create table of, which creates a table from an object type. Create type under, which creates a subtype. And the override keyword allows subtype override inherited functions and procedures. And, and also, if looking at the screen, the, you can kind of get an idea of the differences between relational databases with, where everything is in rows and columns versus object-oriented databases where we have this hierarchy of super and subclasses, which would be called subtables and supertables in this case.